This unit is our chargeable unit, the pulsation dampener for, that is used for um, pressures up and over 150 PSI. Generally, it's going to be in a metal unit. Um, we do have some PVDF units that are used in pressures over 150 PF, PSI. But for the most part, the pulsation dampeners in metal uh, will go up to 300 PSI for um, our, our standard units, and our high pressure units will go up to 1,000 PSI. Uh, we also have some of our XPA and XP units that will go into the 5,000 and 10,000 PSI range. Um, when you're using them for the lower pressures, up to 150 PSI, still we, we continue to ask you to charge it to 80 to 85 percent of whatever your discharge pressure is in your pump. If that falls in that range, perfect. However, if it does not and you need to have greater pressure, you may need to use a chargeable nitrogen, dry nitrogen tank. For that, we've got this uh, charging hose assembly and we do have those available as well. These are used for um, pressurizing the unit to pressures greater than 150 PSI. And um, you'll need to keep in mind the rated pressure of the pulsation dampener so that you don't exceed that, especially with these um, nitrogen tanks because they have pressures of greater than th uh, around 3,000 PSI. I want to make sure that you don't go greater than that. Okay. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and allow the um, pulsation dampener to charge up to probably about to 200 PSI. Right there it'll be up in the up and down. And uh, to do that, make sure that we've got our tank ready. 200. And you'll notice as we go here, the pressure will start to increase and the gauge will start to um, charge up to 200 PSI. Now this should be done as you have the unit in the system and allowing yourself um, the proper charge depending on the discharge pressure of your system. So if you have a pressure of greater than 200 PSI, you'll need to set it to 80 to 85 percent. Again, you can go a little bit higher as long as it, it, it's within the um, capabilities of the pulsation dampener, and then you can adjust it down after the fact. So we're allowing the, the charge to take place. Um, after you have it, um, this is a standard tank valve. So it allows you to be able to um, hit the, the core button inside to drop it down. Just keep in mind that every time that you run the system while you have it charged, the system pressure is going to be pushing up on that bladder. So whatever you see on this gauge lower than whatever it is that you put in there, um, it will show up on the gauge. Also keep in mind though that as you, let's say you set it to 85% of whatever your system pressure is and then you turn the pressure, your system on, the pressure will increase and push the bladder up inside the unit and you will then see on this gauge the system pressure that's in the system. Ensure that you have a cap on the chargeable units after you finish charging them. That may, uh, keeps the, the air pressure inside the unit. All right, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. I'm Greg Grisafi, Blaco Fluid Controls, technical support manager here in Riverside, California.